Moving on from that one, I also watched over the weekend um, The Killer on Netflix starring Michael Fassbender, right? And it's a decent movie, I'm not going to lie. For a Netflix movie, very, very good. Um, if you're not aware, I think this is directed by David Fincher, the same guy that did Fight Club, the same guy that did Ex no, that did Zodiac's Killer, sorry, that movie, or Zodiac, I think it's just called. Um, and I think another one as well with, um, I forgot what his name is the one where they lose their memory i forgot the name but he did quite a few decent movies right that i'm kind of a good fan of big fan of sorry i saw the trailer come out earlier the year i was obviously really excited about it david michael fassman essentially plays uh, an assassin for hire and it's really cool because the soundtrack's amazing it's all the smiths and it kind of reminds me of the the time that i kind of found out about the smiths which is fairly which is through skateboarding actually wild to think that but most of that music came through skateboarding when i first started skating when i was about what 16 17 i jumped on it and i remember first going to like slam city skates and basically learning about the smiths through that i think there was one there was one sort of like i think a magazine launch or something i forgot what it was it might it, maybe it was gray skate magazine when Grey Skate Magazine launched, if you know what that is, if you're a skater, you know what well, it's a free little magazine that they have. And I think when Grey Skate Mag launched, I think there was some sort of like launch party somewhere in central London that I kind of skated over to. It was kind of cool. I loved that whole time. It was really, really fun. And then um, I, ended, I think there were, some people were DJing, obviously, some of the skater guys, and they were playing the, the Smiths, and I'd never heard of them. Literally, had never heard of the Smiths. I'm from ENDS. Do you know what I mean? Like, why would I have known who fucking Morrissey is, right? And I remember asking somebody who this was, and I was just obsessed with it, and, you know, seeing everybody kind of dancing along to it singing along to it and then from you know from then on on my fucking ipod i was listening to that all the time so it's pretty cool to see this guy um that michael fassbender plays the assassin is obsessed with the smiths also it's kind of basically a soundtrack for the entire thing and he's got an ipod and it kind of reminded me again of the ipod use of how much music i listen to on the ipod man without any smartphone features the amount of music i used to get through on that ipod was crazy like every flipping day every week i'd be torrenting flipping new albums ripping them onto my flipping thing i'd be putting audio books on there i'd be putting little movies on there that's when i had that i forgot what it was i think it was like ipod classic that had the live screen that you could watch films on it on the click wheel such a good flipping gadget i wish they would bring that back in some way i know they have ipods now they're basically just iphones though but i love that ipod just you know basically design tactile click wheel and stuff and i've seen people online actually i've seen a few people do mods of ipods where they update the if i'm not mistaken they update the flipping the storage they obviously mod the outer casing change it different colors or whatnot i, I kind of like the standard sort of like porcelain white glass front fixture with the aluminium back casing and it kind of dented and scratched it used it more i've seen people do that obviously update the storage change the color of it the case the click wheel the back case um upgrade the battery and i've also seen them do a thing where they've they've included a little um bluetooth module so you can essentially use it as a as a standard thing that people use now nowadays with your bluetooth headphones which has been kind of cool to see but obviously the sound isn't the greatest because you're kind of doing a little hack and whatever maybe but it can be done or you could just buy it obviously already done for you but there are people doing mods of blue of um uh, ipods with bluetooth speakers sorry with bluetooth capability so you connect your headphones with them so that's super super cool but again back to the movie i have to be honest as much as i liked it i kind of some people are a little bit on the fence about it because i'd probably give it a little bit of like a six or seven out of ten mostly because it wasn't sinister enough I expected it to be a little bit darker, to be a little bit more gory, um, to be a little bit more scary, you know? It just didn't feel that way. Um, at no point was I really, like, who's that guy? I forgot what his name. I think it's, um, I, I forgot the, Sp I think it's like a Spanish actor. And I think he's in a movie, No Country for Old Men. Do you remember that one? Where he's kind of walking around with this fucking weird sort of like, i don't know what kind of gun it was i think it was like shooting fucking nails or something right it was fucking insane it's like a little cut off it's like a little shawn or shotgun but that character in fucking no country for old men he was scary do you remember how scary that character was like he, even flipping um what's his name fucking god bless the dead the guy from um, the wire that was whistling right the gay dude with the fucking long trench coat there was a fucking scary vibe at him whenever he came on screen i just never felt scary I, I never felt scared of michael fassbender's character in this movie he just didn't come across sinister enough i did love the line about um him blending in or like you know because him blending in and also being left alone because he dressed like a german tourist i thought that was fairly funny it seems like in tourist in terms of the hierarchy of annoying tourist um uk 
um, or British people, German people, and probably Chinese are definitely in the top five, it sounds like, around the world. Maybe, of course, with Americans. We're probably the top five, yeah. I don't know who the other one is. So probably be British number one, maybe German two, or maybe American two, German three, and Chinese four. But I forgot there's definitely another group in there, but that was a pretty fun little line. Um, and yeah, and I thought the ending was a little bit tame as well. And again, not going to spoil it for you if you're going to watch it, but I didn't really like the ending too tough. I think I thought it started off really strong. I loved all the internal monologue going on there. Um, you know, that was pretty entertaining. Some of the dialogue was pretty cool. He hardly said anything, the character, to other people, but it was a lot of him talking to himself in his head. Um, the music soundtrack was fucking amazing. Obviously shot really well, but I just would have wanted more skill frightening scary side of things it just didn't feel scary enough for me and that's why i'd probably give it a six or seven out of ten but again for a netflix movie for a netflix movie it's definitely a 10 out of 10 let's say that but in terms of a david fincher movie i think he could have come way harder and again that's a pause it should be a pause i feel like it's a pause but we can continue a big up david fincher big up netflix big up the killer and again michael fassbender I, I, he's one of my favorite flipping um, actors as well he's got such a great range in terms of what he could play and he's absolutely bodied up in this flipping movie as well doing all the great yoga and whatnot just looking absolutely cut up for days so yeah he's flipping amazing check it out if you're a fan of him and david fincher or just those type of movies overall definitely definitely very entertaining